Welcome into Brady's Breakdown, the Five Region Sports Network. I'm Brady Hawk, and I want to talk about Kendrick Nunn today. Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, and Goran Dragic are clearly the storylines after their win over the Utah Jazz, but Kendrick Nunn has shown major improvements in a lot of areas. For one, he's a much better catch-and-shoot player out on the perimeter. I feel like that's something that's gone a little under the radar, that he's always been an okay shooter. Consistency has always been an issue, which now is not very much of an issue. He's a consistent player. You know what you're getting offensively every night. So the catch and shoot threes are falling more often than usual. Um, he's more confident on the attack. I think the key there is he's a much more patient player. Usually he gets caught in the air, would make a bad pass, and that's where the playmaking is becoming to show major improvements. He, he's much more patient player that he waits for a cut and driving baseline instead of going up in the air and throwing a pass leading to a turnover. So these areas offensively are probably the two main things, but the mid-range shot is something that's always been his number one thing. And that's something that he hasn't gone to much of late, which I'm going to talk about later. But defensively, has been the major improvements. He's a much better defender. He's not a liability anymore. He's able to fly out on guys at the top of the key, out on the perimeter. But more importantly, one of the small things is that he's good with defending guys at the post that are bigger than him. He's a much better, he's a physical guy, even though he's a small point guard. So he makes, a you know, guys post him up, they throw a pass out to the perimeter instead of taking advantage of that because he holds them surprisingly. So those areas are, are pretty surprising. He always knows how to hit passing lanes. That was the one part that he's always been good at. Um, he's always showed signs of being a good defender, but it just never came together. One of the things in basketball is that if you're going offensively, hitting shots, playing well offensively, your defense comes, elevates when that occurs. And right now, Kendrick Dunn's playing at a level higher than he's probably ever played offensively in the NBA. And that's why we're seeing a defensive jump. He's looked that way because he has confidence. And that's the word that's always going to be linked to Kendrick Dunn because when he's confident, he's a totally different player. But the one area that he needs to maybe take the next step, that takes the next step in his game offensively, is the mid-range that I mentioned earlier. That was the one part of his game that was always a given. He was a little bit less known for his attacking and three-point shooting. But now that the three-point shooting's falling, he's able to attack. He's gone away from the mid-range a bit. And when these three-point shots and he's not able to attack as much, when they start to tail off for a stretch... Um, and he struggles, the mid-range is going to be his friend. That's where he's going to thrive. That's where he's going to save him in a lot of spots. So if he continues to work on that and continue to look for that, that's going to be the, the thing that takes him to the next level, being a three-level scorer consistently from all three levels. Um, and that's just basically meaning in the pick and roll, he's just got to go to that a little bit more often um, in spots when he's struggling. But he hasn't struggled a lot of as of late, so that's why we're not seeing it as of much. Um, so... Thanks for watching Brady's Breakdown. Leave a comment and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to talk about next time. See you soon.